Um, hi and welcome fellow YouTubers um, I, I did nick that off another channel But anyway um, I haven't done a video for about Three weeks or so And if I'm being honest I haven't got a lot to show So let's run the intro And uh, I'll show you what we've done Okay, um, I'll just go through quickly what we've been up to because it's been it has been about three weeks. Um, we've been we've been updating some of the toilet, and I'll show you that bit in a minute. Um, I think I did show you the TV mount that that works brilliantly. It also where we place it, you can put it outside, which you can sort of bend the bracket round and you can have it outside. That was a bit of a bonus. Um, and I've got to get to grips with the electrics the electrics are all in place as you can see but because they used to sit in a rear lounge I've got to rearrange it in such a way that it's tidier and I, I want to make a bit of an effort we've got a sergeant system so it all runs through a central point our electrics which is the mains and the 12 volt and we did that back in the day because that made the whole situation easier to uh, to fit it um we did get away we got away i think we got away twice which is ahead of schedule um and we kind of made do with the way the van is um peculiar situations because when we tried the rear rear bed setup which you've watched us build um that works great and, and i i sleep on that and i go to sleep and i'm fine the uh, nose of ventilation it works but what we find is the kids want to be up there so um, which brings us a little bit further to a future modification we're going to modify the front bed system which i showed you um, to create a double bed at the front because what we found is uh, and you learn this from experience in the van itself and what we found is it's easier to control the kids if we put the kids in that bed that double bed there and we create a bed down here they can sleep we won't we won't necessarily disturb them we can still use the facilities kettle and things like that and watch tv because we place it one in that direction one in that direction we can set them up with gizmos and gadgets in that area like a playstation and such a like so anyway i'm, I'm not gonna i'm not gonna yabble on and, and do what i normally do I'm just going to stop now, take the camera and show you through the little modifications we have made and probably show you the next one we're going to do as well. So uh, I'll show you that next. Okay, um, I'm holding the camera now. So the modifications we've done so far, um, we've we've actually put in three lights because after we fitted the cupboard we found that uh, with the setup we got now it's quite dark in that area so we fitted three lights there we're also going to put two lights and if i can give you a relation to where it is there's the front there's the rear passenger seats we're going to put two touch lights up there they glow in two different colors so i'll probably go through a situation where i'll show you fit, me fitting them but um they'll light up blue which i think will be a nice effect and they'll light up white and also uh they were uh they're touch sensitive and yet they brighten and lower um so that'll be a nice touch okay i'll take you around to that's a rear bed area and it does work well that does it's just that 
you imagine trying to keep the kids entertained that in and cocoon them into that bed that bed works better for that situation and there's like they're seven and eight so they they need controlling and they're lads so they definitely need controlling anyway here's the bathroom right now we still haven't sealed it yet we still haven't put the the actual shower shower head in that's coming next hot water systems coming next but that's the sink in place still got a tub brush in from our uh our excursion oh yeah two of these yeah we had um one was in weymouth and we had a great time there um we actually uh parked um um a, a portland bill at the very top where now you can park there for 10 or a night where before obviously it was wall camping it's actually legal to park there and then we went to a campsite uh the day after because we left on the friday got there rather late so we couldn't get onto the campsite and then so we stopped at portland bill and that worked a treat and the other campsite was over in worcester so uh, that was that was two two outings we've had in the van so you spend all this money you want to use it as much as you can and it's nice to get away from the house and get away from work and all the rest of it and it's a bit of stress relief so that's the sink i'll just pop that up now here put a small cupboard in this area i've got to be careful here because i don't know what she's stored in there <laughs> uh, oh it's quite it's okay it's toilet roll and uh, some shower gel bits and pieces so that's our little cupboard and it, it has to be really tiny as you can imagine because you don't want it taking up too much space and it is if i just put my hand there to give you a scale that's how deep it is to my hand um because i'm guessing it doesn't come across brilliantly on the camera so uh yeah so that works a treat uh the bathroom has, has worked out really well actually really pleased with the bathroom um there's our telly now that telly i might have mentioned it earlier but that works out brilliantly because um you open the side sliding door um you take it off take the pivot bolt out pivot, pivot lock on the back and the whole thing pivots out of an evening you can have it uh anchored downwards um to your easy chairs and watch a bit of football tv of an evening because obviously it doesn't work in when the sun's out but it's great having it outside real great um what else have we done uh that's it really um i only did this video just to let you know that we're still conquering on and we're still fighting the battle and we will get to the end of this if you ever get to the end of these builds that i'm not 100 percent sure and i think you keep going and going and going so uh thanks for thanks for watching and uh i really appreciate it um uh, more on the uh tires in the next video just to let you know how i got on with the new tires from my previous video tires are brilliant Toys are fantastic. Um, but I'll give you more info on that one next time. So uh, obviously they were the Goodridge uh, tyres, um, the oversized tyres to make it look better in the arches. Because um, VW crafters and sprinters, the, the original wheels always look too small. And, and that's my little fix. And that seems to be everybody else's little fix. And it, it changes the appearance of the van totally. Well, I'll tell you more about that next time. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you like what you see, uh, please subscribe. And um, give me a thumbs up. Thank you. Bye then.